Um, you can see in the window um, where the restoration needs to take place. Because Stained glass, rich with color, images, and meaning, added one by one through different eras, each representative of that generation, its traditions and its symbols. The, the school crest um, uh, glass window behind me was the first uh, stained glass window actually installed in the chapel. Um, and it was actually created um, by stained glass from the um, cathedral in Ypres that was destroyed during World War II. It just brings a reverence and a, a strength of tradition that otherwise wouldn't be there in a normal, um, regular, modern building. For eight decades, this small log chapel has been a centerpiece and gathering place on the almost 100-year-old Queen Margaret's campus. Now a designated heritage building, it has been many years since its natural woods were gathered and assembled. I think that the building was uh, completed in 1934, if I'm not mistaken, um, with one of the founders hammering the first peg in 1932 with $36 in the bank. Peeled and varnished fir logs for the walls, details and pieces added over the years incorporate many types of native woods found on the island. The entire chapel was uh, built of native, uh, native woods um, and uh, arbutus, hemlock, alder, fir, cedar and the, uh, the altar is made of uh, maple burl. But 80 years has taken its toll on this historic building. The wood was beginning to decay, losing color, and this, one of only two original buildings on the campus, had an uncertain future. During the past year, we've gone through a restoration project to replace uh, a number of the logs that were on the exterior of the chapel that were rotting and uh, had a lot of large cracks. One of Haley Picard's favorite memories is being a flower girl at her cousin's wedding here. She says for decades the Little Log Building has been a place where the school and the community has come together in a very special setting. There's so much in here. Every bit and piece of history has a different connection with people. When the logs were recently repaired and replaced, it was discovered the stained glass windows were beginning to bow. The school is now focusing on raising funds for their restoration. Reporting in Duncan, I'm Terry Church.